Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you along book shopping with me. I'm super excited. I've been on a book buying ban for a while. So this is the first time I'm going book shopping, except for I got Twisted Lies because I had to. But other than that, I haven't been book shopping in a while. We're gonna go to a few bookstores and I'm gonna try to get books that are out of my comfort zone. So I might get some books that are used on sale, but we're gonna try and get some like thrillers and some something different because I need a change. I've been reading way too many romances. So we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go to the bookstore and I'm gonna take you along. So let's go. Hello, that was a very successful trip. I am so excited for the books that I got. I'm so excited for the next month because I feel like it's gonna be such a good reading month. I'm so excited to get out of my comfort zone and I think I got some really good books for that. So let me tell you what I got. The first bookstore, I got two books. The first book I got was Better Than the Movies. This is the only book that I got that is like a romance that is in my comfort zone and I don't plan on reading it for so I'm doing this video I'm planning on doing this video where I read books out of my comfort zone and I also just want to read books out of my comfort zone because I've been reading too many romance novels and I kind of need to break it up but this is the only one I got because when I found this on the shelf I literally died because I've been looking for this book everywhere it's been sold out on Amazon and Haley Pham recommended it and I haven't been able to find it. So I'm literally so excited that they had this. They just had one copy there and it was on sale. I'm like, what? How did they have this? How did I find this? I just like happened to pick this up and I didn't even mean to. Um, so very excited for that. It's a, I, it's like a high school romance. It is YA and it's about this girl who's trying to impress a guy and she uses her friend to try to impress him and ends up falling for the guy so I'm really excited for this it's called better than the movies and I just hope that it has like all of those like romantic scenes and I know it's just gonna be cheesy but I love it anyway okay and then the next book I got they had like this really cute little shelf where they had books for each zodiac sign and I picked up the Aquarius book and I was like interesting and I read the back which doesn't have a description about the book but I was like I have to get this because first of all I'm an Aquarius and I wasn't like immediately attracted to it but on the back it says make room on the shelf next to the book thief. So I'm assuming that this is similar. And it basically just says that it's a story of lost desire and the fragility of the American dream in World War II era Chicago. I'm from Illinois near Chicago and I love World War II books, which is like really random. But the book thief was like one of my favorite books growing up. And I think it's really one of the books that got me into reading when I was younger and I loved like any book set in World War II for some reason so I don't know how this was the book that they chose why this was the book that they chose but I picked it up and it was perfect so I had to get it and I went to Half Price Books and I got three books I was not planning on getting that many but they had three of the books I was looking for at really good prices and they're actually um hardcover I don't like hardcover but they're more expensive and they were cheap so I was like that's fine 
I have to get them. The first book is Anxious People by Frederick Backman. He wrote A Man Called Ove, I think it's called. And that's a really popular book. I haven't read it, but I read the synopsis in the front and it's basically about a bank robber and a crime but it doesn't take place so I don't know if it's just like imagined or what happens but it's just a bunch of these people and it, there's like a mystery so it's definitely like out of my comfort zone because it's not a romance basically this book kind of like talks about not judging people for what you see and just kind of like knowing that there's deeper like there's a there's a deeper side to everybody and I kind of really liked that so I'm excited for this definitely kind of out of my comfort zone I don't know if you would call it a mystery I don't think it's a mystery um I think it's just fiction but it has like a mystery component to it so I'm excited for that the next book I got was The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley this was in one of Haley Pham's videos that I just watched I watched two of her videos and one of them was reading books out of her comfort zone which is where I got the video idea that I'm picking these books up for and reading five or reading seven thrillers in seven days and this was in one of them I can't remember which one but she rated it really well and it's basically about this girl who moves to Paris to live with her brother but her brother's missing when she gets there and she's like basically trying to find out where he is but is interacting with all the people that live in the apartment complex and it's a mystery so I'm excited a mystery thriller whatever I'm excited for that the next book was in Haley Pham's video and that was reading seven thrillers in seven days and this was the first book she read she rated it like six stars so I'm super excited it is a thriller there's apparently a bunch of plot twists and I love a good plot twist and it's about this girl who moves to like her family lake house to get away and there's this couple that lives across the lake and she's basically spying on them and then the wife goes missing and that's kind of pretty much all it talks about so I'm super excited for this I'm super excited to read some books that are out of my comfort zone because like I said I've been reading so many romance novels past couple of months that's all I've been reading and I'm really excited to switch it up because I really need something else I kind of just wanted to save all the thrillers and mysteries for October when it's like more cozy and for fall but I think it's time to switch it up so we got some really good books I'm excited and thanks for coming book shopping with me if you like this video please like comment subscribe and comment below your favorite thriller because I'm looking for some good thrillers on my list okay thanks for watching